Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. You guys have been here before. Thank you. If you are new, why hello and thank you. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, I wanted to bring you Crochet Ramblings. They're number 33 or 34. Um, it's honestly a lot of whips. I've had starditis big time. Lately I just see the yarn see a project. It's like, why not? Let's try that out. So, um, one finished object. The rest are all whips. <laughs> so let's just do the finished object first, I suppose. Um, so I made a hat out of the Baby Bee Sugar Pom Pom, um, from Hobby Lobby in the color Daisy Days. And I used my eight millimeter hook and just made a little hat for a little person, little children's. Um, didn't get my end, but you know, it happens. We'll get it. Anyway, I thought it turned out really good. Oh, I just realized I don't have that on. Why hello, is that better? Okay, anyway, maybe not, there we go. So yeah, made that. Um, I just did half double crochets and used some eight millimeter hook. So it's the easy project that took me no time to complete. I like those <laughs> mindless fast ones. I have a lot down here at my feet that I've started and I've been working on them, but I just keep starting new things. I was thinking earlier about starting a new project. So, hello, my name's Ashley. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> okay, um, so this one, well, I'll show you this one first. Let's do this one first, because it's really cool. This one, um, I ran out of yarn, so I had to stop it, but it's in my cinnamon stitches bag. That's me, didn't know if y'all knew that or not. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, okay, so this one is a tutorial here on YouTube by, I believe it's the Green Marble. I'll link it below. Um, I decided I really wanted to make a hoodie. And if you guys have been here before, um, a while back my husband and the boys brought me some yarn from Hobby Lobby. And they brought me um, some I Love This yarn in the color Daydreamery, which is this color right here. And then they, they brought me two of those. And they brought me two of these, which is I Love This Yarn in the color Hot hot Orchid. Let's see if it's Orchard or Orchid. It says Orchid. <laughs> Anywho, um, there we go. So I used my five millimeter hook. Um, and Daydreamery, yeah. Just in case anyone was curious. Daydreamery, okay. Um, but yeah, I used the Except the green marble, I'm pretty sure I will link it below. It's pretty easy and I've um, gotten a little ways into it. Like I said that I ran out of yarn, um, but my hubby has already requested one. So here's the hood. I think it's fun because it looks tie-dye, kind of funky. And then this is the body of it so far. This is two skeins. And um, it's like usual shirts whenever you get to right here and you can connect them underneath then you go from there And once I connect it, I want to do the bottom of it purple the sleeves in The daydreamery and then I'll probably finish it off in daydreamery. I don't know. We'll see but Anyway, this is what I have so far Super hip stitch marker <laughs> just saying to go along with the super cool bag, you know um, Yeah, this is it So far wish I had a cool model I could put it on and show you guys. Um, right here in the front is where you connect and I'm not a fan of that part. Um, and she says on there that if you don't want to, you could, you know, slip stitch over or do something different. Um, but it was just like easier for her to do it. And so that's what I did was just followed her pattern because I've never made a hoodie before. Now that I've made it, I'm kind of realizing it's like, normal shirts. Like, okay, you just do this, get to a certain point, connect it, 
crochet in the round. Got it. Like I'm slowly figuring it out. Um, so whenever I make my husband's, I'm not going to do the joints in the front because it just looks sloppy and I don't like it like right here. I mean, you can tell where I joined and it's really pretty in the back, <laughs> but no one's going to see that because my hair's long. So the next on his, I think I'm either going to just snip it and start it over here. What'll it be like, I don't know, probably in the back. And then once I get to a certain point, maybe like do it under the arm or something. Cause yeah. But anyway, um, so I'm going to make it until it goes like can connect under my, under my armpits, I guess, basically for the sleeves. And then that's gotta be the body of it. And then the sleeves will still be this color. So I think that'll be good. I thought I had enough to finish it out and I don't. I need like two more rows to be able to connect it, but then I still have to make the sleeves. So there's that. I'm going to take this with me. Um, after this, I'm hoping I have the energy <laughs> to film my whip weekend. And this is, it's not a whip weekend project, but that's one that I'm going to take just to um, work on. So, okay. Um, this is another one that I've started in the last 12 hours. <clears throat> excuse me, 12 hours, um, you know, yeah, it happens, starditis, it's a, it's a real thing, um, so I'm using my 5.5 .5 hook, like I usually do, um, I'll take all these out of here, I'm gonna regret taking them out of here, <laughs> big twist in the color sapphire, uh, mainstay, I believe this is just purple. Yep, mainstay purple. Uh, Big Twist Bubblegum. And then I have a Red Heart Super Saver in the color Bon Bon. So those are my colors. Just gotta lay them down here so you can't put them all back in there. Um, and I may add a couple more. Oh my goodness, miss. <laughs> I may add a couple more shades of pink, purple, and blue um, just because there are more in this. See, there are a couple shades of pink, a couple blue, a couple purples. So, what I'm doing is I'm using the solid colors and making a circle, and then that is my border, and then I'm going to stitch them all together with this, and then per use to some sort of fun border um but these are I have I just have four squares finished like I said I just started this last night so I have these so far which I think it's going to be really cool and then I have two blues so I'm going to do like this where it kind of alternates I think um but like I said there are so many different colors see like this blue there's still this blue that I could add. And with this pink, there's still, what, this pink, the kind of contrasting, like, lighter pink that I could add. This purple, there's still kind of like that lavender, not really lavender, but, like, I mean, kind of. It's a lighter purple. So I feel like I could add some different ones. I thought about maybe adding a black one or two just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Um, dropping them. But anyway, but yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Those won't be beside each other, and that's the back. But, anyway. It'll be something like that. Eventually, you know? So that's another work in progress. That's just to strap in, y'all. It's gonna be ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> then in this one, I have the what's it called? A I believe it's called the Granny Spiral Blanket. I don't know. I know it's Krista from Secret Yarnery. It's her pattern, and I've made several of these. And I really enjoy it. Um, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Macaw. And I love this yarn in the color Candy Sticks Dash, which is one of my favorites. So I'm using those two. Which doesn't look like they make sense, but it's kind of how I roll. I feel like we've all, if you've been here, you know that. 
colors that don't really make sense. I'm like, I'm going to see if I can make that work. So I started making her spiral granny and I am in love with it. I think it looks so cool. So like I absolutely love how it is coming out. Um, I have what two more of no one more of this one and two more of this one and so I feel like it'll be a pretty decent size for you know maybe a lapkin kiddo blanket something like that but I think it's fun just how funky it is and so anyway I'm using my 5.5 hook for that one also I need to put my hook back with my project before I forget so yeah and I will link the pattern to her or the tutorial to her pattern down below. It's very easy. Um, you just double crochet in each stitch and then whenever you get to like the third or fourth row in the corners, instead of doing two double crochet, you do one double crochet so it isn't all wonky, which is what I started doing on my crochet tober blanket and it flattened it out and then I did that weird border and made it wonky again. So, whatever. Um, <laughs> okay. This one is one that I've discussed before. Um, I haven't shown you guys though. I've shown the yarn for it before. It's been a while. Um, <clears throat> but I'm making a blanket for my husband. So his very favorite holiday, like mine, is Halloween. His is the 4th of July. That's his happy time and his favorite. And so I'm using... Well, I'll just show you first, and then we'll talk about it. So this is where I am. Um, I'm going to, after this right here, is going to be blue, white, and red. And so it's going to be like the reverse of this right here, where these are just solids. Because this is all the Red Heart Americana. These and this. And this is Big Twist. No. Uh, red Heart Cherry Red. Big Twist White. Big Twist Navy. Pretty sure I just have red and blue in there. Or red and Americana, but yeah. Um, is it navy? I think that's what it's called. I know it's the Big Twist Dark Blue. Anyway, so that is two skeins of the Americana. And then I did red, white, blue. That's a full skein of Americana. And then, so now this must be three skeins. That's a full skein. And then, like I said, from here I'm going to go... Um, blue, white, red. So it's not like red, white, blue where it patterns. It just goes out the other way. So blue, white, red, and then three more of this. But let's get 5.5 hook. <clears throat> and it's just greenies all the way across. Nothing fancy. So, and I left the fringe out because, um, that's how our grandmas always made the blankets. You know, they leave the fringe out. And so just because figure why not and leave little ends and maybe I'll make some little tassels just because but it's a really good size let's see that's that right there is folded two times so it'll be good then, <laughs> also um I have this, my super cool bag from my beautiful friend Cynthia. Loves it. And in here, um, I got a Mary Maxim mystery box the other day. I'm sure I'm going to upload that before I upload this one. I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, and I've had this pattern a while, from, like the first, I think, Mary Maxim mystery box. And so it's for the round and round baby blanket. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And I made it and I'm on round 18 out of 28. So um, for this one I'm using my four and a half, four point five 4.5 hook and this is the yarn that I got with my Mary Maxim mystery kit. It's the Royal Batik, um, uh, yeah, color 30. Let's see, I don't remember having a color, but that's what it looks like when it's worked up. But 
it's one of those that um, depending on how it's rolled it looks completely different so let's see so here's one here's one same yarn okay it's like I said I used my 4.25 and I've made it through one skein so far that says that you use three skeins um, I have five total so I'll have plenty I've thought about making it a little bit bigger so this is just one so far but I think it looks cool I'm liking the yarn it's very soft but I'm also liking how it's patterning I think it's very pretty so anyway so I'll do that and then after this next rose whenever I'm supposed to start doing the part where I do double crochets in each one and I just don't feel like it's gonna be that big so I think I'm gonna go a few more rows and then start doing the double crochet just so it's a little bit bigger in case you know a bigger kid needs it or something but anyway um I think that's it it feels like I have a whole lot more whenever I'm you know in it my goodness um I'm Honestly, I've started making squares for my Christmas blanket just so I'm ahead of the get, like, you know, ahead just a smidge. Um, I have a few of those finished already, so that way I'm kind of, yeah, ahead of that just so I don't get so wiped out. Um, I've been wanting to make videos and bring them to you guys, but I just, yeah, haven't felt like it at all. So anyway, um... I also have a Daphne blanket that I have, it's a whip that I've started a while back that I need to finish and I'm really wanting to make, there's like a slew of wearables that I want to make, um, like a ton of wearables that I want to make. I want to make a pair of overalls. Um, my sweet friend Lisa sent me this really cute jumper the other day. I would. I feel like I would rock that often. Um, I had my husband help me pick out yarn for that one even. Um, and I still need to get started on the um, You Pick I Stitch project that I have worked out with the orange and black marl and the orange yarn from Dollar Tree, the cotton yarn. Um, you guys helped me to decide which pattern to use and so I need to do that. Um, I think I'm going to make the, is it the Astrid, I believe is what it was called. It was in that one book. Um, I've had several people mention that one. There are a few different ones and a few of you said the shrug. Um, but that, that one cardigan's really pretty. I think it's the Astrid, it may not be. But anyway, I'm going to start on that one, I think, for that because I think it'll be really cool. And then I'll come back. And I already have some more yarn picked out to ask you guys, what do you think I should make? You know, because I think that one's going to be a bunch of fun. So this one isn't as long as I thought it was going to be, which is good because I think I have the umph to go ahead and do my whip weekend. Um, <clears throat> the last two times I haven't done a whip weekend. Um, the time before last was just a really rough go the whole entire time we were there and all of those things and if you watched my health update I sort of told you a little bit about it but I didn't go into depth in depth of how awful it was we'll go that term and then the last time I didn't pick up my crochet hook the whole time I was there because I was just so freaked out I think from the time before whenever I went on my treatment so this time I'm hoping to crochet some more um, <clears throat> We'll see. I have two whip weekend projects, but also I'm going to take this, like my little squares, because these are just insanely mindless and we can, you know, I can still look for oncoming traffic and help the hubby drive while crocheting these. So I'm going to take that one. Um, I have two more skeins of this, the baby pom pom, or the sugar pom pom. And so I'm going to take that and I have a couple other like bulky yarns so I'm going to take to work on hats because it's getting colder and so yeah um 
I have one or two things that I would like to make for scarves and I think here in just a bit after I do the um, whip weekend I think I'm gonna play with this intro a little bit um, I started to do that yesterday but I was exhausted and I just couldn't it kept dropping stitches and I couldn't for the life of me wrap my brain around what I needed to do to make it stop dropping stitches and so I was just like you know so I just put it away and <laughs> you know um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to try that, um, make some Christmas goodies for everybody, and then also probably some donate things. Um, I said so I mentioned that I got the Mary Maxim kit the other day. I really didn't get any, I got, well, a couple, I guess, like light threes and things that I could use in this intro, but for the most part I got fours, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, that's why I like to crochet with pretty, but I mean, you know, I like threes, but anything below that, um, I kind of like to use this intro. So, um, yeah, so like I said, I have quite a few things that I would like to make. I've seen people make sweaters and things with them. I feel like that would be so much fun to have a fun sweater, um, the gnome yarn. Where are we at? Right here, these. I think that will be so much fun. Sorry if I made you nauseous. And it will be so much fun to have a sweater out of those. I've seen several um, tutorials on how to do that with your, you know, Addy or Centro machine, how to make a panel and stitch it together. And you make like four panels and then your sleeves. So I may try that um, eventually. Today I'm probably going to work on Christmas stuff. So, anywho. All right, so. Once again, starditis. There we go. I'm not even going to work. I mean, there, I'm already talking about how I'm not going to touch these at all. <laughs> the ones that are, I just showed you guys. I'm going to start something different. So the starditis bug has bit me. I don't know what else to say about it. So all I want to do is make new things with the yarn. And I have so many like spots <laughs> that are completely empty. I have two cubes over here that are completely empty now because that's how much yarn I've used in the last three or four days. So, which makes me feel okay about it, you know what I mean? Makes me, feel about purchase, makes me feel okay about purchasing so much yarn if I get rid of that much yarn, so that's nice. Things we tell ourselves, am I right? Um, so yeah. So, okay. So I'm gonna go, because I have the beginning of Whip Weekend, then I also have another down the rabbit hole that I want to do with you got to share with you guys. I have several of those throughout the next little bit, but I have one that I probably should share with y'all pretty quickly just because. So, <clears throat> okay. So thank you guys so very much. If you stay to the end of the crochet ramblings, I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. Please. And I will talk to you guys soon.